But he does one thing every now and then that right shoulder seems to dip and drop down and the ball gets set left and short. Baby split. What he wants to do is have the ball hit right here and deflect right into the 10. For a pro, I think they would make it about 50% of the time at least. I never did, but these guys do. Got it. Beautiful conversion. Of course, accuracy is very much part of his game. Accuracy and, and uh, control, as we see his bio there, 6'3", probably the tallest. Well, we'll have to see how tall Kelly Kaufman is, 165 pounds, with one national title, approaching that magic age of 30. Columbia just turned 31. Oh, he still looks 25 to me. Another pocket hit, this time a solid 10 on 33, so Dave Arnold peppering the pocket but not coming up with much. He changes balls for the spare, goes to something that uh, evidently will go a little straighter at the spare. 10 pin match, Roger Bowker on top. <laughs> and we've had uh, five frames by one bowler and six by another. We've had two strikes, Dennis. You and I have been wrong before. <laughs> <laughs> we've been known for it. <laughs> we pride ourselves in it. We'll be back with more of our second match after these messages. What you see, the remnants of a missed opportunity for Roger Bowker in the seventh lane. And while we were away, this was the strike in the sixth frame. And he went back to the green ball, played outside and destroyed him. First ball on the left lane, he went back inside to the track with a lot of speed and it just kept going. So this left lane uh, presenting Roger Bowker with a lot of problems. Trying to get back into the pocket and does. Gets his first break of the match, trips out the four. Now the critical shot of the week for Dave Arnold will come on 33. And right now he's up by four pins in the match and can increase it to 14. In the track area, about the 12th, 13th board, the two pin goes to the sideboard and gets that four. Like you say, very big shot coming up for him right now. Solid eight, solid 10. He's due on the left hand lane. Yeah, we'll see. You just have that feeling that he's going to strike right now. Interesting in sports activities how that happens. Wonderful bowling this week. Don't forget, coming up, the Ebonite Three Rivers Open. The ladies are at uh, Princess Lanes, located in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, Tuesday, October 26th, 11.30 p.m. Central Time is when you'll see the finals there. Defending champion, Carol Norman. Walker back to the outside line, flirting with the twig, and that was nearly disaster. See, I, what has happened in here, I, and it's happened to me lots of times, is the, the difficulty or the degree of difficulty of the lane has affected his delivery of the bowling ball. And he's just not throwing the, the quality shots he's capable of. He's still in the match, so he still has a chance. He could strike it out for 201, and that would be a winner for what Dave is doing right now. So, But he needs to get his rhythm back. All right, how do you convince yourself that that it's not so much the lanes, but it's what you're doing at that point in time. You got to go right back and say, hey, I'm just going to try. My goal this time is to make a good shot. And he did. See, it is possible. You know, you just it's a mind over matter game so many times that you've got to fight this battle that's going on inside of your mind and perform out on the lane under intense pressure. control in the match. Can't throw it much better than that. As he enters the 10th frame, needing to fill, what, 17 pins in the 10th to lock it up. Can't throw it much better than that. 10 pins in the pit, intense concentration. Make no mistake about it, the butterflies are fluttering in that stomach. I think it's adrenaline right now, Dan. I think he is supremely confident and, and feels that he's going to throw this ball right in the pocket. Yeah. 
slight hit. Shaker hit the pocket. Seven pin stands, but an easy spare. He just convert this and get eight for 202 and a winner. Anything less, and we could have a lot of possibilities. Yeah. Got to make this first. That's what Roger is hoping for. Just some kind of a chance to maybe tie this or win this in the very late stages. Trouble. Oh, my. We saw Palumbi miss in game number one. So, obviously, there's some conditioner, heavy conditioner over there. And he may have just handed this match to Roger Bowker. Well, he finishes with 192. He played this spare from the left, and the ball just never got a chance to get over there. Roger needs two hits in the tenth. So he just never bit. Bowker needs to make a key shot. Oh, and he trips out the floor. He's still alive in this match. Well, I mean, he's coming right back off of the slab. They had him in, those, in the slot in the morgue. As we watch the shot, over about the sixth board, out to about the third, he trips the two into the four, and the nine falls late. Comes down to one shot for the whole week. Strikes here, he wins. He's got a hook. Oh, what a turnaround as Arnold misses the seven pin. And Bowker comes storming to snatch the game. I'll tell you what, Dave Arnold's just got to be sitting over there just pounding himself in the head right now. And Bowker, you know, this is the type of thing Gary Dickinson did it twice on the senior tour where he appeared dead, went on to win the tournament. Just needs to keep this on the lane. He accomplished that. What a comeback for Roger Bowker. He must be thinking about 1990 when he won here. He'll have his hands full in the next match, though, with Kelly Kaufman, a young, strapping power player from Topeka, Kansas. 201 to 192. A key strike in the 10th.